we are about to get underway. Edwards with the face mask. Was out for two weeks, missed the last two games of the Big East Tournament. She is back and came back with a vengeance with that double-double. Yeah, that's so tough because Rice played over 30 minutes. She has grad transfer experience as well. Great start. To, and sometimes a matchup where they'll run through with the cutters. They were working on that yesterday in practice as well as in shoot-around today. But UConn is going to try to pass out of that. Woolley knocks it down. Yeah, take a look. A kick out right there, Willie. C shade go with the powerable 6 p.m. local time tip off. Willie again for three. How about that? Her shot was not falling, and Coach Jack was on her saying, Hey, we need you, especially without the services of Rice, who averages 10 a game. Here's Fair. Ball knocked away. Beckers forces a turnover. Nika Mule, the very talented point guard. Beckers with some flash. Ball knocked away. Beckers forces a turnover. Nika Mule, the very talented point guard. Beckers with some flash. Just nice and loose on defense, Paige. Beckers just attacked the gap. Shot knocked down by Burroughs, the other Australian in the starting lineup. Along with Woolley, who has the ball in her hands. Fair looking for it, but Woolley pulled up. She is red hot. And then right here, stopping on a dime in transition. She saved herself a couple feet and maybe a blocked shot by pulling up there right inside the elbow. Good drive by KK Arnold. Syracuse, one of the post players, a transfer from Michigan. Woolley floater. Edwards gets it. Arnold Becker somehow was able to collect it from that and tend to go over a Becker's block How about this block Paige Becker's may have lost a step right there, but are outstanding We've already seen her get into the gap for a steal earlier in the game Syracuse has missed five shots in a row Bear with an air ball But she's gonna keep on shooting has a great handle, was able to get around three defenders and get an assist. Oh boy. But then the counter, Woolley saved it in, but to Arnold. Perkins is back on defense. Edwards couldn't handle it. A tangled web right there, but Latham. Nika Mule with the chase down block right here. Latham thought she was free and easy. Mule does have another year of eligibility, but has decided this will be her last season. UConn was working against the zone during their practice. Get it into the high post area and work out from there. Ashley Shade, the freshman, coming off a career day. Edwards had lost Vergeau right there. If she had been able to handle it, she probably could have scored easily in there. Beckers with a nice feed from Mueller. She was outstanding, and she only took six shots in the first half on Saturday, and she scored 11 straight by herself in the fourth. And Shade has been fantastic in terms of her composure as a freshman. She understands that she is a floor spacer there. Just absolutely all over fair defensively. And Syracuse likes to run that Iverson action, and Nika Mule got a piece of that one. Mule's second block of the game in this NCAA tournament full of stars. We have one here in DeAsia Fair. Shade again! UConn is on a string, offensively and defensively, connecting the dots. Well, Syracuse can't settle for the shots that UConn is giving them. They need to take their shots. Beckers with the floater. Shot clock into single digits. Fair. Tough shot to get her first points of the night. Beckers thought about it, then got inside. Tremendous bounce pass over to Edwards. Beckers and Edwards are always on the same page. Edwards gets it over to Shade. 
Beckers. First offensive board, and she converts. If I'm Gino, I'm fine with that shot. You, you see how you can pick apart the defense and commit it to the basketball. Lily picks up her dribble and then takes a relatively low percentage shot. See, I love Edwards right there at the nail. Now she can pivot and spray the ball around. There you go. Page misses two in a row. Edwards couldn't come up with it cleanly. Another offensive board for Beckers. Brady, as the ball bounces around, Syracuse with active hands. The three, nailed on offensive rebounds where they're six best in the country. Beckers with the kick. Steal and score. That is the pace of play that Gino Ariyama said that the Huskies needed to play. Paige Beckers, the primary ball handler, but I think they need to get her off of some weak side stagger screens instead to get her a touch. Woolley gets the basket, and we are... Right here you see the nice front cut, the face cut gets you right. Extra defensive attention to the basketball right now that Syracuse is showing. Inside Beckers, turn, shoot, hits. Inside two minutes to go in the half. Give UConn credit for getting a body on and maintaining contact to disallow those extra possessions. Beckers elevates. Beckers looks at Gino. He said go. She does, and she hits it. Um, taken down by Wood. Woolley got off to a great start with some threes. Turn around by Latham. Hey, but I'm sure these fans will follow. It's sold out in here again. Really with the miss. Another rebound. Wood staying in there with the three fouls. Edwards defense. Good job by Wood to come out. Pardon me, Latham. Fair. There you go. We didn't come this far just to come this far. And boy, an 8 0 run right now forces UConn to call it. Asia Bear has the complete trust of Coach Jack. They have a really great relationship. And then Woolley hits the shot. As many as a dozen, that lead has been halved. Beckers. It's just where you want to be if you're Paige Beckers. And Gina wants her to be there. He's got to put it down. Burrows the freshman for Woolley. And then a corner triple. In that first half, UConn turned it over five times, but Syracuse was able to score 10 points off as Paige gets a nice dime there. With a strong response to that 8-0 run by Syracuse, extra pass is being made. Beckers goes behind her back, floats it over to Shade. UConn with a nice response. Both teams said that they have changed so much since that juncture, but they understand who they are. What a great block inside. Let's see if Syracuse can settle in right here. Use a little of the clock. Or get or not. The ball to number two. DeAsia Fair is not fair. Right here, a little pitch back pass. Get it right back to her. You've got to be in the picture. If you can't see the camera, you're not going to be in the picture. Nobody was in the picture there defensively. What a quick move by Beckers. 25 points for Paige, had 28 yesterday, or yesterday, two days ago, in the first round against Jackson State, and here comes D. She's in at three, and then right here gets by, not one, not two, but three lines of defense. So two of the top four scorers in the history of women's college basketball are playing in the NCAA tournament. Arnold with the bucket. Decker's working on Woolley, kicks it out. Shade from the corner. Ashlyn Shade just beats the buzzer. Tough here at home. Three-point shot is under review. Beckers kicking it out to the corner to Slim Shady. Ashlyn Shade. Portland in the Sweet 16. Duke pulling off the upset of Ohio State. Yesterday, Cam Ward and Christy, you know, Scott joining you. Paige Becker is hitting the shot. Right, and you see the shots falling that were knocking 
they were knocking down that first half and they weren't making the same shots. It makes it difficult confidence wise, but they've been able to stick with it. Well, this sequence had me leaning all over you over here, Pam. A little pitch back pass. Syracuse sticking with their zone, and you see Aliyah Edwards right there creeping around the nail. Once she gets it there, she can go to work. Puts it in with the raw pan. Well, it gives you options when you put the ball right there in that soft spot of the zone. Another three ball for the orange. And then this is what starting today for Rice out with the concussion. You saw a little bit of daylight that kicks it out to Paige Powers. Paige has 30. Slight work from Paige Beckers. But Fair says, I got you right back. Well, she sizes up the defense and finds viable options. And the box. still trying to have the flick of the wrist. And now they're trying to blitz a little bit. And we saw that towards the end of that first half. Shade again. That's her spot. Such a big bucket. Nika Mule, she knew if I get it inside, they're going to sink in a little bit. Shade. Ashley Shade has been magnificent. Career high 26 against Jackson State in round one. She's got 19 tonight. Inside three minutes. Fair. Big bucket. Oh, my. Watch this read right here. DeAsia Fair calculates it and sees that she has. Tipped by Burroughs. Woolley. Burroughs wants it for three. And she nails it. Space to let it fly and drop in the bucket. And then Burroughs with yet another three. Off the inbounds, Latham. Beckers, little hesitation and hits. Beckers, over to Arnold. Got it to roll in. KK Arnold, the true freshman. KK Arnold. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. The young freshman growing up right in front of our eyes gets the plinko roll for the triple of strength. A brilliant career from the Asia Fair ends tonight in stores. UConn will take on Duke in Portland.